I'm in my sister's backyard. It is so beautiful out here. So beautiful. And today is my last day of my vacation, spending it with my sister. Oh, excuse me. My grandchildren, our children. We had a beautiful time. I know I look a little rough. <laughs> Our flight doesn't leave out until 9.30 this evening. So, so let me come in the backyard and eat my, which is not really breakfast, because we didn't get up until 12 o'clock. I'm telling you, it is so nice to go away on vacation. It's so nice. And I thank God that we were able to come here. Excuse me. Always pray over your food. So this morning, I well this afternoon, I'm having Jimmy Dean sausage and um, these Hawaiian rolls. I don't particularly care for them, but I'ma eat it. Mm. Mm. And a cup of tea with lemon. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Mm. I'm sorry. You don't want to buy it here? Tastes good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Want some tea? Let me blow it because it's a little hot. Okay. Burn this on. Ain't that tea good? So. What's so nice? of when you don't live in the city, condominium, apartment, is that you can sit in the backyard. Hear the children? I love it. I love it. I have not heard a fire engine or a cop car since we've been here. This is our eighth day. When I tell you, Oh my God, I felt so bad. I didn't spend no time with my sister. Because we was in the bed, we was knocked out. You ever heard the sound of nothing? Ooh, baby, it is awesome. You don't hear nothing. You have <laughs> mouth all open, open, drool down your mouth. That's what we have been able to have here. So I hope, as I said previously, I hope everyone enjoyed their Christmas. We had a blast. And what's so amazing is that it's nothing but Jesus. We believe in, in Christ. And that our children, our children and our grandchildren, this was the first time of a meeting and a gathering like it was. For Christmas, there was no arguing, there was no attitude, it was just peaceful. Our grandchildren played, they had a ball. Everyone would just pick up something to start cooking. We had so much food, Jesus have mercy. I never had a full plate, I just used a little saucer because it was just too much food. I, those of you that know me, I am a ham lover to the 10th power. I don't want to see no ham for a long time. Mm -mm, I don't want to see no ham. Nope, mm -mm, nope, no ham. Let me fix my little body a little bit. Should put some earrings on. I don't want to see ham, so much ham. Roast pork, which I love. Or rose pork, we call it rose pork, but pineal. I love that. I, ate, I took a little bit of slices, pieces of skin. Couldn't eat it. Potato salad, collard greens, macaroni and cheese. 
Yams, I never tasted the yams. I never tasted them. It was a lot of food, man. But in any event, God is good. I thank God for memories. This vacation was a memorable time of being together with family and friends. I'm telling you, whew, let God choose your friends. Don't you choose them, because if you choose them, it won't work out right. Mm-mm. I won't. Excuse me for talking with my mouth full. My sister here, we're sisters by the blood of Jesus Christ. Over 40 years. That's a long time. We never had an argument. Never had a falling out. Outside beings interfered with our relationship. And for years, my sister felt something because she was told something. But about four years ago, she found out what she thought wasn't true. But we realized that we had our time apart from one another for a season, for a reason, okay? And I tell you, I love you, Lydia, so much. I love you. I love you. And I thank God for you. I thank God for the worship and time and fellowship we had in church. And I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. And I thank God for you. Those of you that have friends, treasure them. If they sent by God, because you know the devil can send some boogers your way too. <laughs> Anyone, let me take this bite. That's so good. I think that's the Jimmy Dean sausage. Jimmy Dean sausage is um. What I was going to say, let me take a cup, sip, sip, sip. Anyone that is in your audience, when I mean in your audience, we have friends that are close to us like this, and then we have acquaintances and the one that you have in your audience and when I mean audience those are the ones that are close to you those are the ones that you allow in your inner space those people that are in your inner space if they're not adding to you, encouraging you, empowering you, uh-uh, close that door, I don't care how long you're doing, I don't care anything, uh-uh, 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 give me, give me if you have a friend, or a so-called friend, there's always borrowing money, borrowing your clothes, borrowing your car, always borrow, 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 or they need, 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 or oh, oh, woe is me, and all this and everything. If people that come in your audience close to you like this, when they walk away from you, are you walking away like, man, they really made my day. I feel so good. What? Thank God for that friend. If you ain't feeling that, I still leave these uh, side. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. Don't be with people that's not really your friends. And don't think that you have to allow people that are not conducive for your growth don't be needy 
of when I gotta do that. Because if I don't, they're not gonna like me. They won't wanna be with me. I'm gonna be alone. Cut it out. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You wanna bend over backwards and kiss your own butt? Just to have people in your life because you alone? Baby, there's too many things to fill up your time to be alone. Too many things. Uh -uh. Too many things in life. Too many things. You have the elderly. Cook up a big pot of soup. Get some nice containers. Pack them up a lunch. You have children that are in hospitals. Yes, I know we're in a shutdown or whatever, but there's always somebody that is in need. So instead of you locking your hands like this, because I'm so alone, have you got out of your comfort zone to stop being alone so you can be a help to someone else? Do you know a mother that has a child or children that you tell them, you know what? We'll start off once a week. You let me know when you need to clean your house, do your laundry and stuff. And I'll come and get your baby or your children for about four hours. And you do what you got to do. They're elderly people. You can go to their house. You can clean up. You can read to them. So, any of you that are watching this and say, I know, I know they're not nice to me, but if I don't do it, I'll be alone and I won't have anybody. Really? You see my face? Really? Cut it out. Don't do that. And if you need a friend, here I am. Just inbox me. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video. I got one more to go, where am I? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nah, I said I didn't want to eat no ham. Ain't this pork? <laughs> Thank you for watching Jacqueline McQueen's YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. I thank God for, I see I got three more subscribers. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate that. Y'all continue watching. Tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell your family, tell everybody to come and watch Jacqueline McQueen's channel. Everyone have a pleasant day or evening. And bye-bye.